Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ and everyone watching this program. How is everybody? I hope everyone is doing great. Yes, today uh, I, I found out everybody is ready to talk about the Bible. The Muslims, the atheists, the Hindus and everyone is attacking the Bible. Everyone is ready. Everyone knows everything about the Bible. There is no one who does not know the Bible. It amazes me sometimes. A friendly atheist talks about the Bible. Let's go and learn from him. All right, the friendly atheist. What does he say? Um, okay, friendly atheist. There are people who think the Bible should be taken literally, that it is inerrant. Those people haven't even read the first pages. Uh -huh. Let's just go through the first chapter of the Bible and talk about all the problems in it, shall we? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Obviously, we could talk about the Big Bang and how God didn't just poof us into existence. But even if you think, as some Christians do, that God created everything at once through the Big Bang, none of this makes sense. God created the heavens? I mean, that's a synonym for the universe. So God created the universe and Earth at the same time, in the beginning. Except the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, and the Earth is only 4.5 billion years old. I mean, if you rewind the tape, they don't have the same starting point. And if you know anything about the early universe, darkness wasn't in the picture. For hundreds of thousands of years after the Big Bang, the universe was really, really bright. And, and where did this water come from that God was hovering over? The Earth didn't have water until long after it was formed. It didn't come with a built-in pool. The early universe didn't have rain either. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Who, who was he talking to? <laughs> he was he who was he talking to? So this is what I understand. This is what I learn. You know, the devil is always too ready to twist the mind of men and women when it comes to the Bible is always to twist and to bring something and try to put something into the Bible which God himself has not put there. Is that what the Bible says? Is that how we understand the Bible? What is the Bible after all? Is it about encyclopedia of creation? That all creation are there, the spiders, these list, lists of animals? The crocodile, crocodiles and, 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 and the dinosaurs and this and that. Sorry for these people who knows nothing. But they are ready to say a lot of things about the Bible. A lot of things. You don't know the Bible. Who is talking to? The God said, let there be light. God said, let there be light. Who is he talking to? Does he does God know need somebody to talk to? God said let there be light and there was light. Nobody was no no man was created at that time, but God teaches us some very very important thing because we remember that light was not the light of the sun, the light of the moon, the light of the stars, but it was Jesus Christ, the true light. Remember what when you studied previously that Jesus go to Second Corinthians chapter four verse six who commanded the light to shine out of the darkness so that the light of Jesus will shine in your heart. What is the darkness? The devil, the kingdom of the devil. First of all, let's go. Let's go and see. Let's go and see what the Bible says. 
the Bible is not a literal book. It's not literal. God wants us to teach us with a lot of things, with allegory, for example, Galatians chapter 4, 24, which things are allegory and allegory, for these are the two covenants, the one from Mount Sinai, which genders to bondage, which is agar, okay, let me go to King James Version, um, yeah, the King James, which things are an alleg allegory, allegory, for these are the two covenants, the one from Mount Sinai, which engenders to bondage, which is agar, so it is allegory, 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 what's allegory? The Bible is, it is full of allegory, and then also, it is full of proverbs. It's even the book of proverbs. What's a proverb? The Bible is written in, in proverbs, in allegory, in similes, in different, you know, tools God uses to teach us. In personification also, we see, you know, in different parts of the Bible. Because God wants us to teach us something very, very important. For example, let's go to the, you know, the Proverbs, the Proverbs, the parables also, the Proverbs, the parables, the parables of Jesus Christ, you know, the parable of this, the, the parable of that, the parable, if you go to Matthew chapter 12 to 15, 16, all the parables, all the parables, Jesus spoke in parable. Why? Because that is the way God presented to us the wisdom of God and the knowledge of God. So, what is, for example, for proverb, proverb, proverbs of Solomon? To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive words of understanding, to receive instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, to give subtlety to simple, to the young man, knowledge and dis discretion, a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. To understand the proverb and the interpretation of the words of the wise and their dark saying. What's a dark saying? the word of God. Hidden. Hidden wisdom. Hidden wisdom. So, how do you understand the Bible? Okay, Matthew 13, 35. This fulfilled what God had spoken through the prophets. I will speak to you, you in parables. I will explain things hidden. Since the creation of the world. What is the creation of the world? Genesis. From that start, God is speaking to us the wisdom of God, the redemption plan of God, and the, the coming Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, and us in the kingdom of darkness, mm -hmm. the evil, the devil, and all that is the, the beginning of Genesis. So in Genesis we find all that. So you cannot say, you cannot say, oh, it is, you, you know, it is this, it is that. Okay? You have to know how the Bible is written. The Bible is not, is not teaching us about this day, that, that time this was creation, the age of creation, the age of the world. No. No, that's not. But, the Bible explains the plan of God to redeem us from thick darkness to the kingdom of light. The Bible says, from the thickest darkness, we are transferred into the bright light of the kingdom of his son, Jesus Christ. So we understand it totally in a different way because it is how it is written. What did God say? That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept sacred from the foundation of the world. 
that's the teaching of God. It's not the big bang this year, that year. Who cares? Who cares? But that these people are in darkness, they don't know. Sorry for them. But they say a lot of things, big things, which they do not understand. The Bible is a book of salvation, is a spiritual book. It is not history, the book of history, the book of anthropology, biology, or anything else. It is a, bo a spiritual book, and we have to learn from what God teaches us through different mechanisms. Thank you for watching. May the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonder wonderful night. Bye-bye.